This is a video showing how to find the area under a curve within Pasco Capstone. I've previously collected some data and created a calculation on that data. If I wish to display the area under this curve, I can select one of my runs of data and then go to the top and select the area tool. This will display the numeric value for the area under this curve. In this example, because I don't have any units on the horizontal axis, it's having a difficult time displaying the area. For sensor data, it will be able to collect this data immediately. To correct this, I'm going to go to the calculator on the left-hand side, and I'm going to go to Special within the calculator. Before I apply my calculation, I need to give it a name, and in this case, I will call it Area. And I'll type in the equal sign. The integral function exists under the Special tab within the calculator. If I hover over the integral button, the syntax for the use of this calculation is shown down below. The y coordinate for my data will be displayed as my first argument. So let's go ahead and click on this button. It will input the calculation within that line, and it will prompt me for the arguments for this. By default, it puts in time as the x axis, but this can be changed. So given the graph that I have on my right-hand side, I'm going to want to select my stress for my vertical coordinate. I can either do that by right-clicking on my mouse where the cursor is, going to insert data, and then I can select sample stress. Since I'm going to be replacing time, the fastest way to do that is to double-click on time so that entire measurement is selected. And I can either, again, right-click on my mouse or I can press the left square bracket on my keyboard. In this case, I wish to select strain for my horizontal coordinate. When I press enter, that will advance me to the units field. And in this case, because my units under the curve will be megapascals because strain does not have any units. Once I enter that in, that unit will be associated with that calculation. So let's go ahead and display that. So on the right-hand side, I'm going to select the digits display, click, hold, and drag that onto my graph. I'm going to shrink this display down a bit. I'm going to click on Select Measurement. And now, under the equations and constants, I have my area that's displayed. I can click on that. And you can see that the numerical value for this digits display matches that of the area that is shown in the graph tool. However, because I've selected the units within the calculator, the units are displayed within this display.